Hey there, and welcome to the Affiliate Mogul's YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna discuss how to prepare for Affiliate Summit West or any conference. You can reference this video not only for prepping for ASW, which is just a short week away, but also for any upcoming conferences or events that you have throughout the year. Each week, we talk about new email acquisition topics. If you love our content, please don't forget to like and subscribe by hitting the button and tapping the bell below. Starting off, what's your goal of attending the conference or an event? You want to create your goals for the conference. By that, we mean what would make a successful conference? When you get home that Monday or whatever day you get home and you look back at the conference, what would make a successful conference to you? Is it learning and listening to the speakers? A lot of times at these conferences, look at the agenda ahead of time. They can teach you about social media, conversion rates, improving split tests. Um, they can talk about a number of things, email. So look in the agenda and see, is there anything you'd like to learn that maybe you need to develop that skill more? Um, or maybe you don't have um, a person on the team to do a certain task, but you need someone on the team to learn. You can take notes back to them. What is your goal? Is it to learn? This by speaking, or maybe it's you're looking for um, an agency to do Facebook ads or Instagram or YouTube ads, or maybe uh, design, whatever it might be. A lot of times booths, a lot of agencies and small companies have booths there. We can actually help your business. And if that's one of your goals, make sure that you write that down and make sure you execute that. Another goal could be finding new business, finding new affiliate partners, finding just new partners and making deals. If that is one of your goals, write it down because it's very, very important. Or it could be simply cultivating and deepening current relationships. That is very, very valuable. Whatever your goals are, make sure you write them down and you know that and you review them every single day of that event, that conference. So you know when that event ends, you walk away having a successful event. And then also, do you even need to attend the event? That's a very important question. You wanna find out who's going and what events are happening. Um, do these align with your goals? Not every event on a calendar year is necessarily worth going to um, for you or your team. And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. That's something you need to look at. A lot of it is the time. Um, are you having a big launch during that week of the conference? Maybe you can't go, or maybe it's in, Dubai or somewhere far away that doesn't make financial sense to go or the time commitment to go. And maybe you're not the right person to go. Maybe it's your tech guy or a conversion or a conversion or an email op uh, optimization, whatever it is, it may not even be you. So be okay saying, Hey, it's not me. Let's send someone else or let's miss this conference altogether. Because the last thing you want to do is spend your time money and the company's time and money going to a conference where you're not going to get results. So make sure whatever conference or event you go to aligns with your current goals or your future goals coming up in the next few quarters. Also, two months before the conference, plan your travel accommodations. Um, are people staying at the event hotel or is it cheaper to get an Airbnb in a more central location? You want to really book your travel ahead of time, especially your hotel. If the conference is at a hotel, Many times they have room blocks, the hotel will sell out very, very quickly. And if you're not at the hotel or you're not nearby that conference, you might spend way too much time traveling or Ubering back and forth to your Airbnb or other hotel and really wasting a lot of valuable time. They could be generating business. So book your travel and your airfare ahead of time as soon as you can, at least two months in advance. We usually recommend as soon as you book that um, conference, the next thing you do is book the hotel. And then after that, book your flight. Again, let's not waste money. Let's not get locked out of the hotel because it's sold out. Pro tip from one of my favorite things to do is about a month before the conference, put in your email signature or Skype headline that you're attending said conference and ask if anyone's going and if they wanna meet up. This is a great way to proactively reach a ton of people, especially if you're not involved in any of the Facebook groups. This is roughly a month before the conference, so I totally recommend doing that. And the second thing I recommend doing is begin to make a list of people that you know are going who you want to meet with. Start reaching out to them, seeing when you can connect, and then plan out your days. Lay out your days, whether it's a Monday, Tuesday conference, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, et cetera. Lay out coffee or breakfast, lunch, drinks, or a get together in the afternoon, dinner, and then any evening events that you would want to meet up with people. 
When scheduling, I also highly recommend leaving about an hour a day flexible within your schedule. This could be because maybe you need to reschedule a meeting or maybe like me, you need to lay down for an hour just to rejuvenate and kind of just catch your breath after a really busy day. I like to lay flat, be quiet, save my voice, freshen up for the evening. These are all things that have proved to be highly successful for me in the past and that I know works for me. You do you, but again, I highly recommend keeping a little buffer in your calendar for these things. During the conference, other things we recommend doing and bringing are obviously comfortable clothes and comfortable shoes. I have never not been to a conference where a lot of walking has been involved. So bring not only one pair of comfortable shoes, but perhaps two so you can rotate between the two. And then have a section where you can create notes from your meetings, whether that's within a laptop or the note section of your phone. A lot of people bring totes or backpacks around the conferences, so don't feel like you would be out of place if you have a big bag carrying around your laptop. It's definitely not frowned upon. We're there to get business done. So don't necessarily think that uh, you have to be fashionable. Your reputation is everything. Ryan and I work really hard to keep our clients happy and put out positive energy in our ecosystem. So we always want to make sure that we're there to represent not only ourselves, but the company that we're with as well. So keep that drinking under control. You don't want to be that person that everyone's gossiping about the next day. And at the same time, we also want you to have fun, ask questions, get to know people. Everyone is super open and welcoming. My favorite opening line to use is, hey, so-and-so, you know, what do you think of this conference so far? And it's a great way to get people engaged, particularly who you haven't met yet. After the conference, we have a couple of tips where we would encourage you to go watch our YouTube video, Turn Relationships Into Dollars, How to Follow Up After a Conference. We talk about everything from prioritizing follow-ups, keeping track of ROI, as well as things not to do after a conference. So be sure to click on it here, it should be on the screen, to learn more about following up after a conference and the proper etiquette there. And we appreciate you watching this week.